Hey guys, I wasn't actually going to post this video. I tried to do my first produced prank call to Maddie McCage of Simply Youth Ministry, but it didn't really work out. I made a blunder. I wasn't for, totally forgot and didn't work. But I am going to show you guys the whole thing in its entirety. I actually didn't even chop it down because Maddie does share yes. some good thi Oh. Hi, Hannah. Daddy carrot. There's your carrot, yes. But Maddie did show some really good stuff. Uh, talk about some really good stuff. <laughs> Hannah. Hi. For um, small town youth workers and small church stuff. Hannah, no yelling. And um, anyway, uh, he had a lot of good encouraging things to say. We talked about some good stuff. So I'll put a table of contents if you just kind of want to skip straight to different things we talked about below this video on YouTube. You can use those links to kind of skip straight to other things. Or maybe it'll be like a list of annotations somewhere around here that you can also click and just kind of skip forward parts of the video. So I hope you guys enjoy and um, watch the next video when I actually successfully prank call Jake. Thanks for calling Simply Youth Ministry. This is Maddie. How may I help you? Oh, hey. Is this the the Maddie on the website? It is Tim Schmoyer. How you doing, buddy? Oh, good. How how are you? Uh, who, who's Who's Tim? Huh? Who's Who is Tim? Who's Tim? Yeah. Well, I don't know, but it says that my caller ID says this is Tim Schmoyer's mobile. And uh, it gives me the mobile number right here. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had that cooked up to Skype. <laughs> you know, when, when, you, when, you're really, when you're really an important person, you're programmed in my phone. And um, oh. so, yeah. So when I, seen you, when, when I seen you beep in again, I thought, man, I really need to take this phone call. Oh, okay, yeah, I've been trying to bug you all day. Because <clears throat> really, my, my my name is uh, Vader. My first name's Darth. But... <laughs> I was... I was totally gonna just roll in with, with this and be like... Asking about your mom at the conference and... It was gonna be like super awkward for you. It's so funny because that is so similar to what the YM360 guys did one day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, last year they uh, they called and they were like two total rednecks on the phone. They're like, so what's this uh, live live curriculum about? And you don't talk about no Britney Spears in there, do you? Because we don't like that Britney Spears. And she shows her belly a little bit too much for us and we don't kind of like that. And we like women like that are clothed that. all the time and I'm like yeah. and I'm trying to figure out who in the world is this guy man mm. I don't know who this is and then they're like well you know we kind of kind of got like to make this investment really good and uh you know we kids went out and sold them their donuts and uh yeah them donuts were good Jed I'm like yeah really well that's pretty cool yeah and I just and well, then they just start busting out laughing I'm like I hate you I don't know who you are right now but I hate you with a passion <laughs> This they is... were audio recording it and sent it to the whole Simply team. Oh, well, you, th you wouldn't think I'm recording this, do you? Oh, probably, but... <laughs> so you well, I, I was going to ask you a whole bunch of questions about the conference and about a whole bunch of <laughs> stuff, and again, mostly about your mom, but... It's... Yeah, too bad. Uh, anyway, why don't you just tell us about the conference... <laughs> As, as my my first attempt at doing a prank phone call epically failed because I forgot that I had my phone number plugged in as my caller ID for Skype. Dang it! Oh, uh, so, what's your fa <laughs> what is your favorite SYMC memory? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, oh, man. Get past yeah, how sure. epic I fail at this. Where'd you get my phone number anyway? <laughs> huh? Where'd you get my phone number anyway? You gave it to me. Oh, well, probably. Yeah, well, it was at the uh, at the June SYMC thing. We were at Cammy's house last year. Oh, okay. And we were sitting out there at the at the patio, and you gave me your number. Oh, well, that was nice of me. <laughs> yeah, it was. it was so nice of you to remember that I was important enough for you to give me your uh, your cell phone number. Yeah, I don't hold on to it too loosely. I mean. Uh, or too tightly, obviously, it's plugged into Skype, so... <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't hang out to it too loosely? <laughs> yeah, too loosely. 
So, let's, uh, let's, now that I've epically failed, I still gotta redeem this time somehow. <laughs> what is your favorite SYMC memory? My favorite SYMC memory? Yeah. Uh, oh, I have one. I have oh, one. That would work out well. <laughs> 2010, um, I, I connected with a youth pastor in Michigan uh -huh. uh, before the conference, and uh, he was kind of telling me where he lived from, and and uh, I said, well, you know, what, what city are you in? He said, well, just south of Detroit. And I said, well, man, I kind of know that area, him not knowing that's where I grew up. Uh -huh. And he said, I go to this little church, you know, Trenton Church of Christ. I'm like, yeah, I know Trenton Church of Christ. He totally thought I was blowing smoke. Oh, okay. And, uh, so I said, why would anyone ever think that, you know? <laughs> I have no idea. You know, I, I guess they think I'm a used car salesman or something. Pretty much. And, uh, I'm like, yeah, it's right around the corner from my favorite restaurant. He said, it is? I said, yeah, it's uh, Shanghai's. It's this uh, Chinese restaurant. He said, oh, yeah, yeah. So then he realized that I wasn't just lying or schmoozing him, that I actually right. knew where he was at. Uh -huh. And uh, I said, yeah, I was actually at your church for an a cappella concert. That's how long ago this was. And uh, a cappella was cool at that time. Right. And um, so... It's SYMC 2010, first year in Chicago, and I think I'm, I had walked away from the registration table to go take care of something in the bookstore, and uh, somebody calls me on a headset, hey, Maddie, you know, I need you to come over here to registration. Uh, Phil's, they say, Phil's looking for you. Well, I think they're talking about Phil Bell, so I'm expecting. Oh, yeah. He's my so favorite I'm to walk up. Yeah, to walk up to some short British guy. And what it was is Phil Brackney, the guy from the phone, had went next door before he left to hop on the train from Detroit to Chicago, went to Shanghai's, and bought about six frozen Shanghai egg rolls. I had never met him before. Uh -huh. I got on the phone, and he said, Maddie, I'm Phil. Here's some egg rolls. And it was just the coolest <laughs> thing in the world. So cool. I, I put them back in the freezer. I defended them with my life. Cool. Prayed a curse over them so if anybody ate them, they would die. Awesome. It was just really cool to see to see a, a pastoral heart like that from somebody who really had one conversation. He didn't know me from any from anybody at that point in time. Yeah. And um, it was just something natural in this heart that he wanted to do, and just to to see that and experience that was really cool. Cool. So the freebie rate has already passed. Um, the early bird, not the freebie, yeah, the early bird. And I was curious uh, if if you, if I hadn't have blown this, uh, <laughs> I was going to ask you what the bird had to do with anything about being early in the race. <laughs> the in a much the more worm. smooth way, of course. But <laughs> yeah, the early bird gets the worm. The early bird gets the cheaper rate. And oh, if you wait okay. longer to register, you end up paying the full price so you right. want to be the early bird okay, and if you really want to be the super early bird so i guess it's like i guess it's like the bird hatching out of the the egg shell and getting the 249 rate before <laughs> you leave the conference that's right or uh right now it's 50 dollar deposit right and uh and then you yep. rest like two weeks before or something like that yeah january 15th is when everything's due okay cool and then I got this article about Greg Steer, some guy, um, I think I've heard of him before, and he writes about this uh, movie called Divided, and I was totally going to like push you on the movie, kind of like what the Wine360 guys did with you, but I was just going to be like, you know, about Britney Spears, I was going to go like a similar route with the Divided movie and kind of argue with you about it. It would have been epic. Again. Oh, man, it would have been, been epic, but instead it turned out to be... Have you seen the movie? No, I haven't seen the movie. Yeah, me neither. But I'm a Christian, I don't watch movies. Oh, all right. I just, I just copied them from Netflix. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it awkward for you talking to me with my voice like this? Yeah, I feel like, I, I feel... <laughs> Well, I, 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 yeah, Your ears feel I, a little I feel violated. like I need to call my parents. I feel like I need to call my parents and ask them to come home and make the house safe before the neighbor comes over. Just well, it was really this awesome. or the little uh, girl chipmunk voice, and my wife said to go with this one. <laughs> it's like you're at Teddy Pendergrass right now. It's yeah. really, it's really uh, very white. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about uh, 
apparently you guys, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pretend like you don't know who I am. And these, like, these, this book's like, people put 99 thoughts into, like, these diff 10 different books. Like, what kind of thoughts, like, I have thoughts all the time, but I don't put them into books, you know? Like, what kind of books are in these, these thoughts are in these books? What kind of books are in these thoughts? Ex exactly. That better. Yeah. Um, I would say there are a lot of uh, toilet thoughts. There are a lot of thoughts that you would, toilet thoughts. That you would rub. Probably um, you would think of them while you're on the toilet and just kind of calming your mind. You're like, oh, that's a really good thought. I need to think about that some more. That's a toilet thought. Okay. So, like, what would be an example of a thought for uh, small church youth workers? Will be my thought for a small church. Yeah, especially worker. for a guy whose name is Vader. Well, let me walk over to my bathroom and sit on the toilet real quick, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll be able to have this a. This totally a really should have been a video call. <laughs> a, really, a really good thought. All right, here I am. I'm walking into the bathroom. Let me put this toilet seat down so I don't fall in. All right. So if I am, if I'm thinking about a small church youth worker, I hear the echo too. That's awesome. Yeah, isn't that here? I'll, I can flush too. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, the, the thought would be and my, my honest thought would be don't box yourself in. Because a lot of times with a small church youth worker, one of the first things I always hear is, you know, we're, we're just a small church and uh, you know, we're just a small country church or we're just a small ur uh, rural church and uh, or just a small urban church. And you know, the, my thought is, you know what? There, there's never just a church. You know, it, it's never, yeah. you're never just something. Be who you are. Be proud of who you are. And and have a, 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 a I would say, a more positive perspective on it. Because small churches, there's a different dynamic to a small church than there is to a medium or a large-sized church. Yeah. And large and small churches are able to pull off some things that larger churches can't. And, uh, you know, I, I remember when I lived in Nashville, we would take, when I was in Bible college, we would take these preaching trips. And we'd go down to the Deep South, and I remember being in way down in Georgia. And the uh, the pastor was there. He actually graduated. He got kicked out of, out of our denominational school for being a, a rabble-rouser of sorts, and then graduated from Princeton, which was really funny. Yeah. And um, so he's this, he's this pastor, a very educated man in this small little country church, maybe about 60 people. And he said, you know, what I love about having a small country church versus a big church is that every Sunday we get to have a Sunday dinner. And it's vital for the family, talking about the, that church body, to get together and have a meal. He said, so every Sunday, it's a potluck. And we just go downstairs to the little fellowship hall. We have a quick potluck. Everybody eats there together. Everybody has that camaraderie and that unity. He said, you cannot do that in a big church. And that's one of the biggest challenges is to get people together enough to have that sense of family. Cool. And uh, so that's when I think of a small so, church. I'm like, dude, you guys aren't just a small church. You're a unique small church. There's great things you can do. Own it. Own the smallness and just be the best church you possibly can be. Cool. That's like that's at least twenty three thoughts right there, actually. So <laughs> that was uh, that was about ninety that, that, that was about that, ninety six words to express one simple toilet thought. Yeah, that was like a power squeezing thought right there. You know? <laughs> we <laughs> Grab hold of those handicap rails and just go. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um. This isn't going on YouTube. <laughs> so, and, uh, apparently this guy named Josh Griffin thinks that the Trinity is something to be talking about with youth group kids. And, like, some sermon series or something that he's, uh, that he's talking about. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, it's a brand new release. We're pretty excited about it. And what, it, what, it, I mean, besides the Trinity, why should we check it out? Um... Because it's simply youth ministry product and it's awesome. No, um, you know we haven't come out with a, with a really good sermon series lately. We we kind of been doing other things mm -hmm. and um, with other curriculums and other Bible studies and and cool um, digital resources. And so we really wanted Including to go back book. to. Um, 
of everyday resource that a lot of youth pastors and youth workers really have asked for, which were more yeah. sermon series. And um, and so we went back to what are some things that we haven't talked about definitively, and you know, yeah. the Trinity was one of them. And so, Griff, you know, you're you're our voice uh, for everyday high school ministry right now, and um, let's yeah. see what you got. And well, I checked it out. Did a great it looks- job. It looks solid, yeah. I, I uh, checked it out and would recommend it. So, well, I will let you wipe and get back to your desk. But um, I, I don't know. I'll have to pull a prank call on someone else sometime because I got this whole thing set up and it's like just too good not to, you know, waste it. So I'll, uh, I don't, I'll find something. This Like if I called Cammy with this voice, I think she would just hang up. <laughs> I, I I think the person you need to call is eight six six nine simply. I think uh, I think you need to dial that number. Okay, who, and who would that be? Uh, that would be Jake. Jake. That would be our customer service yeah. guy. Yeah, okay. Jake Rasmussen. Yeah, but I know Arizona. Jake. But he doesn't have my number, does he? I hope. No, he should not. <laughs> if you call the eight six six, yeah, he, he won't have that programmed at all. Okay. Well, maybe I will try it. And I'll just mess with them just so I can feel like I put all this work into setting this up for some good reason. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I will hold off tweeting about how you're an absolute trip until after. Uh, I'll give you some time I'll to do, make that. Phone I'll call. do them right now. I'll do it right now. Hold on, I need a pen. Uh, <laughs> actually, I'm recording this. I don't need a pen. I'll go back and get it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, next stop is Jake. I'm going to see if he does any better.